Hello everyone. This video I will show you how you can use measurements and uh, cameras. So I'm going to launch Pro 100. Uh, new project. Order maybe 001. Customer is you. I'm the designer. Comments. Uh, measurements and cameras. Okay, I want maybe on 160 by 100. Not a very big room, just a small one. And I will work with American frame. I will start with my core base. So pick one of these guys. Now I like working on plan view. Some base cabinet. I'll just pick a few and I will make copies of those really quick right here. If you notice I turn on the contours just so I can see those lines. And I'm gonna do the same with the uppers. So let's go to wall and I'm gonna just push it all the way there. Sorry. Well, you can use ground molding, of course, but uh, that's for another di different video. Then I'll bring a couple of those wall cabinets. Maybe just two. Find a different one. Put some the glass. Something like that. Okay. And. Uh, this time I'll just use that. Just for the sake of demonstration. Alright, so I want to take my first camera. Uh, let's give him some um, go to north wall. I want to know the entire length that this, these cabinets are occupying. Oh, I messed up, so control Z, select that again. You watch for the red, when it turns red, you stop. Right there, you pull it down, so it's taking that space. How about the height? Well, it should be 36 because I'm using standard cabinets, but you never know, for custom cabinet makers, uh, they might decide to do their own custom work. There you go. I want to see how long that one is. There you go. And how about this? Oh, I have to select it. Shift. There you go. It's an 18. So it's looking really nice. You can do the same with the uppers. Select that. Select that. There you go. And then I want to select all of them. By the way, you can move around with stuff like that. All of them, so I can know the entire size. So far, so good. So this camera now, this camera one, I can save it and rename it. Uh, I can just leave it like that, or you can rename it whatever you want, just by right click, sorry, right click, rename camera. I'm just gonna leave it like that. So let's make camera two. Uh, camera two can be maybe, uh, maybe wall which should be the same dimensions anyways so I'm gonna do a 3D just a different angle there you go okay let's make it the bottom there you go and you will see what the cameras are doing just the back there you go alright so now let's watch uh, camera roll that's the first one 
second one, third one, fourth, five. You can keep going and on and on and on. You know, maybe you want to send this to whoever is cutting or whatever it is. Of course, you can uh, make uh, the controls disappear. You don't want to see them. Uh, you can make it all white so that it's just all white. You will still retain your measurements, but I can't see them very well, so I like to have a little bit of color. Uh, that is something you do uh, when dealing with the room size and you want to make sure you're not going over. For example, I want to know how high is this, how high is it from the countertop? So I select those. I, uh, by the way, you cannot do that on perspective on a 3D. You can only do that on the wall. So I just still select it. And I'll make sure it starts from there. And it stopped right there. It's 24. And like I say, you can move around these things. And notice all the sizes are changing. Uh, the, the, the measurements are changing accordingly. So there's no problem. And then you can take another photo if you like. So camera 6, different from camera 1. You notice. So I still have my cameras. And for each camera, you can export image and uh, depending on how high the resolution that you want you can go up to you know font size or you want 1080 20 if your monitor can take handle that so you go other and do uh, 19 20 that's full HD 1080 okay and here it is, it will ask you where you want to save it. I'll save it on my desktop. Camera tutorial. Save it on my desktop. And then I'm going to go to my desktop here real quick. And I'm going to scroll down to camera tutorial. There you go. So now you can send this to somebody. Uh, by the way, you can convert once it's in JPEG. You can convert it to pretty much, you know, PDF or PNG, whichever way you want your file system. Other than that, thank you for watching. Have a blessed day.